India today went to specifically those hotels, small motels, guest houses near Kolkata where these two had managed to get accommodation and how. Here's a special report for you. Don't miss. It's a big breakthrough in the Bengaluru blast case. The NIA has got 10-day custody of alleged mastermind Abdul Mateen Taha and bummer Musafir Hussain Shazi. According to NIA, both the accused absconded to Kolkata after the terror attack. They were moving around from one guest house to another using forged identities. From March 25th till March 28th, they stayed in this particular hotel, which is in Iqbalpur area of Kolkata. Uh, we spoke to the locals, we spoke to the manager and the people who take care of this hotel, and they claimed that uh, they have documents and they have uh, uh, through which these two had come in and registered their names, their Abha cards, and they used fake IDs for entering this particular hotel. Where did they come from? They came from Kolkata or from outside? From outside, from outside. It has arrived from, it has been written from Anmol Kulkarni, Kalaburg, and Yusha Shanawas Patel, Palghar. Did they come from one side? Did they come from one side? They came from one side. They came from one side. They came from one side. The accused stayed in Kolkata for 12 days, hoping that they won't get caught. But the NIA was trying to track their every move. In this particular hotel in New Digha, where uh, uh, which looks uh, flooded with tourists as of now, on the third floor, a search operation happened in uh, with the state police and the NIA, and this is where they nabbed the duo who were involved in the Rameshwaram blast in Bengaluru. And this is the Esplanade Inn Hotel where they have stayed on 12th of March and they have checked out on 13th of March and after that they have checked in in the hotel just beside this Paradise Hotel and where they have uh, checked in on 13th March and they have checked out on 14th March and after that till 28th of March uh, they have stayed in Kolkata in another two hotels that is on uh, Khidirpur and Ekbalpur area. The arrest of these individuals is a significant development in the investigations. The NIA claims Abdul Ahmed Taha is the mastermind of the attack. He wrecked the cafe for a week to understand blind spots and asked his associate Sharif to get materials for the IED. Sharif allegedly assembled IED and delivered it to the bomber. Taha also allegedly made entry and exit plan for the bomber and for himself. He was a key operator of terror outfit ISIS in India. He was in the wanted list of the NIA for the past five years. He was a part of the Shivamoga module. As the investigation continues, Bengaluru remains resilient, standing united against acts of violence and terror. With Surya Agni and Anirban in Kolkata, Bureau Report, India Today.